Tamil is a classical language and one of the major languages of the Dravidian language family. The Tamil language has retained almost 805 of its features of the original Dravidian language, spoken predominantly by Tamils in India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and Singapore. In the year 1996, it was the 18th most spoken language with over 74 million speakers worldwide. Hey everybody, my name is Leroy Kenton and uh, yeah, I know some of you guys are super happy to see this episode because you've been requesting for us to do a video on Tamils for a long time. The Tamil language or the Tamil people, but in this episode I'm focusing just on the Tamil language and looking at some of the history of it. Now guys, honestly, if you want to see more videos about Tamils and the Tamil culture, give this video a thumbs up and if we reach over a thousand likes we're gonna be producing a lot more videos about Tamils and the Tamil culture so I'm super excited for that I just want to ensure that when we're gonna be producing new videos that you guys actually want to see them and now before I get into this episode I just want to ask you this what is your favorite language let me know <laughs> down there okay so let's move on into the history of the Tamil language so the history of the Tamil language can actually be divided into three periods. In the first period, we have Old Tamil, and that was from 300 BCE to 700 CE. Short inscriptions supposedly from the second century were written in a variant of the Brahmi script called Tamil Brahmi. These were found in caves and are the earliest records supporting the evidence of Old Tamil. The consonants, the syllable structure, and various grammatical forms are some of the many features of the Proto-Dravidian language that the Old Tamil preserved. And then the next period of time is the Medieval Tamil, and that was from 700 CE to 1200 CE. So the evolution of Old Tamil into Middle Tamil by the 8th century was categorized by a significant increase in the Sanskritization of Tamil. From the period of the Pallava dynasty, many Sanskrit words were used in Tamil. And then we have modern Tamil, and that's from 1600 to the present day. And this is a spoken Tamil today, and it shows a lot of changes from Middle Tamil. However, unlike other major languages, modern Tamil has not experienced any transformation as such at all in over two millennia. Now what I mean by that is that the core of the system of grammar has remained unchanged throughout Old, Middle, and Modern Tamil. So the 2000 year old Tamil classic called the Tirukkural can be read by modern Tamil kids very easily. In fact, Tamil has the longest unbroken literary tradition amongst the four Dravidian languages, which are Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, and Malayalam. Also, the Tamil language varies linguistically across three different dimensions, and those are geography, caste, and dialects. So there's six regional dialects that can be classified as East, West, North, South, Central, and Sri Lankan. Sri Lankan Tamil is more conservative since it retains older features of the language. Okay, so now I wanna go a little bit deeper into the history of the Tamil language. So as I mentioned briefly earlier, Tamil was born from the proto or reconstructed Dravidian language that is thought to have existed before 500 BC. There was an Aryan invasion or migration theory that suggests that it caused the Proto-Dravidians to be separated out into Proto-South Dravidian, Proto-North Dravidian, and also Proto-Central Dravidian. Then there was a further branch called Proto-Central South Dravidian that Proto-Telugu branched off into. Tamil and Kannada later separated into Proto-Tamil and Proto-Kannada somewhere around 3 BC. Old Tamil then split into Middle Tamil and Malayalam during the Middle Ages. Yeah, so I hope you guys follow that. <laughs> now in actuality, we really don't know a lot about the origin of Tamil. In fact, the origins of all classical languages are really unclear. What we do know is that Tamil is older than the first century BC when Tolkapiyam, one of the world's oldest works of grammar, was written. Since Tolkapiyam talks a lot about grammar and structure, that suggests that the language must have been in use way before that time. And it's believed that the earliest Tamil literature goes back to the Tamil Sangams, which were literary organizations that built the language, and they believed to have existed around the time period of 600 BC to 200 AD. Now the compilation of work that was produced in the Sangams is known as the Sangam literature. Three Sangams at Madura, 
Kapitapuram and Northern Madura are believed to have existed. Now, most of these works relating to the first two Sangams dealt mainly with music as well as dance. And Tolkapiam is the only available work of these two Sangams. The Sangam literature were secular in nature and revolved a lot around the themes of various heroes as well as heroines. The Sangam literature provides highly valuable information on the social, economic, and political life of the people living in Tamil Nadu in the early Christian centuries. Okay guys, so that was your brief look of the history of the Tamil language. And don't forget, if you want to know more about the Tamil culture as well as the language, the Tamil people, just give this video a big thumbs up and if we get over a thousand likes, we're definitely going to be doing that. And don't forget to leave your suggestions on what future videos you want to see us do next. You can also follow me on social media. Those links are down below. You can keep up to date with what I'm doing when I'm not filming these episodes. Until next time, guys, stay awesome and I'll see you real soon. Hey guys, so here's some videos that we highly recommend. There's a playlist for you. We can learn more about our world. Be sure to come back every single day here on FTD Facts for new episodes. And that way you can keep on learning and brag to your friends and families just how smart you are.